When you need a pot holder or a dish towel, you need it right away. You can keep both handy with this combination pot holder dish towel. This project was sponsored by allfreesewing.com. You'll need to purchase a pot holder. You can choose one that's round, square, or rectangle, but don't buy an oven mitt. Be certain that your pot holder comes with a loop. Most of them do. Be sure the loop is sewn on a side and not a corner. You'll also need a standard dish towel. This towel already came with a pretty edge, but if you'd like to add trim, such as ribbon, do it now. Fold your dish towel in half so it's short and fat. Then sew along the folded top edge with a running basting stitch. In other words, make your stitches as long as possible and don't backstitch when starting and ending. Leave the thread long when you cut it. Tug on the bottom thread to gather your fabric. Adjust it to be the same width as your pot holder. Next we'll pin the towel to the pot holder, right sides together. The patterns should be touching. Unfold the towel and pin in the center of the pot holder. Once it's pinned, Pick it up and make sure that the gathers look nice and even. Also, be sure that your loop is on the back side of the pot holder, as it will wrap around the bar to attach on the front. Set your machine to a zigzag stitch and sew down the middle. As you sew, flatten the fabric on both sides of the needle as you feed it through. Remove the pins. Finally, we'll add a button closure. Sew a button to the front of your pot holder. I like the thickness and durability of embroidery floss, but you can use regular thread if you'd like. To use, simply wrap the loop around the button, attaching it to the handle of your oven or dishwasher. You'll always have a pot holder handy and a place to dry your hands. And you don't have to worry about the pot holder dish towel slipping to the floor. This project was sponsored by AllFreeSewing.com. For hundreds more projects and tutorials, visit MadeByMarzipan.com.